Hello everyone, this video was made for the 2019 University of Arizona RU. The idea behind our project was to create a simulator environment to test and develop anti-jamming techniques. For those who do not know, jamming in radio communications is the intentional interruption of altruist wireless communication. Let's look at an example to understand the idea behind this project. To better understand what this project is about, we will look at it in the way of a story. In this story, we have our good character and our antagonist. Our good guy in this case is the transmitter. The transmitter is always looking for a nice conversation and will try to communicate with its friend the receiver as clear as possible using a group of available channels. However, a character similar to the transmitter, called the jammer, got its heart corrupted and will try to interrupt the transmitter and its friend receiver by causing noise and not letting them communicate properly. When the transmitter noticed what the jammer was trying to do, it started looking for alternatives to avoid the jammer's interruptions. The jammer, in his continuous search for communications to interrupt, also started looking for ways to keep disturbing the transmitter's communication. After thinking for a couple of time, the transmitter decided the best course of action was to continuously move to different channels to avoid being interrupted by the jammer. This way, the transmitter was able to escape the jammer and continue with its nice conversations. When the jammer noticed the transmitter was not in its usual place, it decided the best thing to do was to randomly visit multiple channels to find the transmitter. Now, let's pause the story for a moment and let's look at this scenario from a more technical point of view. A transmitter that can move across multiple channels is called a frequency hopping transmitter. A jammer that randomly moves across different frequencies is called a follow on jammer. A follow-on jammer can interrupt communications by jamming each channel for a short period of time. As we will see in the story, this method works for a stationary transmitter, but when the transmitter is moving, it's more difficult for the jammer to interrupt signals from the transmitter. Now, let's continue with the story. As mentioned before, the jammer decided to visit different channels randomly to find the transmitter. This sounded like a good idea, but the transmitter was continuously moving and the jammer was not intelligent enough to predict the transmitter's movement. The jammer could not stand this reality and decided to take a little break. Days later, the jammer heard about a course called Artificial Intelligence recommended by the most intelligent jammers in the world. Let's pause for a moment and discuss what is an intelligent jammer. An intelligent jammer is a jammer that uses machine learning to change its parameters by sensing its environment in order to achieve an objective. For our project, we created an intelligent jammer capable of following a frequency hopping transmitter using reinforcement learning. Let's see how this will play a huge turn of events in the story while we approach one of the most epic endings. When the jammer finished the course, it decided to go and bother the transmitter and the receiver again. This time, things were different. The jammer was able to follow the transmitter wherever it goes and... Sadly, this is the epic ending of the story. Bad wings. However, the idea of our project is to create an environment for the transmitter to develop and test new plans in order to beat the jammer. Getting more technical now, First, I should mention this environment was developed using Simulink. Due to time constraints, we were only able to implement two types of jammers. As you can probably tell if you watch the whole video, one of these jammers is called a follow-on jammer and it's able to jump across multiple frequencies and jam each one of these frequencies for a short period of time. The other jammer is the intelligent jammer which in addition to jump across frequencies it can learn to follow the hopping transmitter. The intelligent jammer uses machine learning 
more specifically reinforcement learning, to learn how to follow the frequency hopping transmitter. The reinforcement learning algorithm was implemented using an actor credit network in which the actor network is trying to decide what is the best action to take during training and the credit network will tell the actor network how good its action taken was. To the left, you can see a graph of the rewards per episodes achieved by the jammer during its training process. And to the right, you will see how the intelligent jam was implemented on Simulink. Here, you can see the transmitter in yellow and the jammer in blue. As you can see, using machine learning, the jammer learned how to follow the transmitter. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you were at least able to understand what our project is about. Take care.